Hey there, Saints Ears. Let's start on this guitar. I don't even know what to say. I'm, I'm, I'm genuinely excited and nervous at the same time. So come up with a funny word for that and throw it in right now. We're, we're here. We've got, you know, a finished neck. We have a body that needs a couple of things installed on it. I have a fairly in-depth process that I feel like is going to work. It, I don't know if it's going to work. I haven't actually built, built one of these totally yet. So fingers crossed, everything goes well. Again, my process may not work for you and that is absolutely cool. So get in there. Get your hands dirty, figure it out. There is obviously, you know, parts galore and they, I mean, they don't necessarily have to go in an order, but I'm going to put them in, in an order. As far as I'm concerned, we're going to like, we're diving right into this. I'm not messing around. There's no 30 minute intro on this one. <laughs> Take that Louie. Everything that my instincts tell me and that I've read and researched is that if my bridge and my neck are not centered and lined up nicely on each other, that basically, not that it's a wall hanger, but it's kind of a wall hanger. For me, I want to make sure that that bridge and its placement is the most important thing to start with. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to run down through my entire list of things. We're just going to go through it in the next, like, you know, through the video and you'll pick it up as we go. Or you could look at the chapters. I might name them that way. We're going to just mark the bridge out uh so that we can take this stuff off and then we can start drilling holes for all of the the wires for the selectors and the pickups and then uh yeah we're just going to keep on rolling and louis gets to walk around and have a good time watching me uh as if you've seen the other videos you'll know that i've got my marks on here for where i want this sucker to sit uh i don't know if you're going to be able to see them or not but i've got a couple of lines on here and i've got some center points and i've got my center line from where my neck was when it was in the pocket going through my process i was thinking about having the neck installed so that everything you know that was based off the neck was there but then i kind of went well it's going to be in the way while i'm flipping this thing around and doing all kinds of stuff so the neck is going to just kind of disappear for now if i'm being honest i might even just you know put it over there so it's out of the way um um how many more times can i say um so louis has to edit those out um, 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 so, um, uh, so yeah, <sighs> deep breath. <laughs> um, so I've got my marks on my pick guards or on my, uh, on my pickup on my bridge and I've got my marks on my body. So I am just going to line these up as nicely as I can. And I'm really hopeful that this just like goes smooth as butter because I don't really know how to fix it if it doesn't. So. I'm just lining up my dashes and then I'm going to mark it and I feel pretty good about where that's sitting. So I'm going to keep a finger on it and I'm going to, I'm nervous. I don't want it to move. Here we go. We're just going to do this. I'm going to mark through the tape. I'm not just being gentle. I'm actually grinding through it pretty good. So. <laughs> We are 30 seconds in and we already have an outtake. <laughs> For the love of Pete. Give me a sharp pencil. Well, I mean, I made this goofy little tool that helps me keep things perpendicular. Or do I just use the drill press? I'm gonna leave the tape on. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Oh, I drilled the wrong hole. Oh, I take the chance in putting a screw hole through the back of the guitar by accident, which is how I messed up the other one. And this doesn't hurt your hand, right? <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's pretty good, eh? Oh, I'm going to call it 28.4 because nobody's going to see the difference in the... 42, we're going to call it 42, two. This is totally an aesthetic thing, right? It doesn't matter. Matter it would be one and a half. One and a half is three. This is way harder than the pine one was. <laughs> this is like a hundred times harder than the pine one. That's crazy. Oh, I got to keep going. I'm not even through. Am I punching through it all? 
just starting to punch through. Okay. See, this is why I have to sand. Oh yeah. All right, because this tape's been on here yeah. for a month now. <laughs> Oh, for the love of Pete. I don't want it darker, I want it lighter. Didn't scare me this time. It's biodegradable, that's what they're using now in all the places, which I actually very much like. Just making sure you are ready. I'm born ready. Wow. You sound so badass when you say it like that. It's true. Exactly, and then it leaves it feeling really natural in your hand. It doesn't make it feel like, I. my guitars upstairs, they have like that super glossiness to them. Yeah, yeah, I don't like yeah. it. Like, I almost, almost want to sand them down and be like, no, no, no I want them to be That's like, beautiful. sheen. Okay. <laughs> nice. Leave a hard, <gasps> holy sweet mercy. Going up in the ranks, maybe I will play it. But that's why I like the cloth. It almost gives it like that gradient edge so you don't even have to worry about it. We have the oil rubbed into this guy. It's smooth, it's lovely, it's coated. It looks, in my opinion, freaking awesome. Um, I was telling Louie that I don't love that it darkens everything up, but it does darken up the graphicness of the line so that i kind of dig so it's uh it's looking pretty good and it just so happens that before we continue doing anything else i'm going to stick some ferrules on the back side of this guy so we're just gonna take the little bullety guys and this is not really rocket science we're gonna doop doop and then i think i'm gonna do them one at a time just to make sure and then i'm just gonna grab this and a little bit more flush Lovely. And the cool part about this surface is if I do happen to mar it or, you know, ding it or anything else, I can just give it a quick sand, add some more product to it, probably the rag that still has the oil on it, and we're, we're kind of still good to go. So because we did all of those super fancy steps with the CNC, these are going in nice and smooth. You can see all the way through, and they stop when they get to the certain point. It's almost like I knew what I was doing there. Hammer drop. Ta -da. Yeah. Oh, two is easier than I thought. Oh yeah, buddy. This is the Scott Custom Shop, don't you know? Twisty, that's why, right there. You want to get popping out over here because it looks yeah, fun? Yeah, yeah. Ta-da! Ta-da! So we can just get that out of the way, something like that. Cool. And then selector. Yeah. Is that through? Yeah. Those two are gonna go, it doesn't matter which one of these, but I want that one, because that one's, oh, this one's supposed to be for the bridge. Yes, I'm doing this right, okay. That and that are supposed to go to that and that. This and this are supposed to go to that and that. These two are gonna go out to this, and this is gonna tuck under here. To remember where? Yeah. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I'm, <laughs> I know, I'm impressed too. So it's just supposed to get sandwiched under there. So the trick is making sure that I actually bloody yeah. sandwich it under there, but sweet mother Mary and Joseph, this is like not Scott's wheelhouse. I'm going to get it done, but. Oh, look at that. Look how clean that is. seems logical to me that if I can get it to actually go through, then sweet mother, how do people do this for a living? Oh, look at it's that! Beautiful. What? It was perfect. Come on! It was perfect. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. <laughs> Good. Yeah. That's not too bad. Okay. Because it wants to keep moving on me, so I think I'm gonna. That was funny. Oh, when's the new guy start? Here we go. 
Why does it seem like it's not hugging the body cavity the way it did before? Sorry, I'm screwing your camera. Okay, that's just not pushed in. Pretty close. I don't feel like I like that spot. Flat's the worst. Worst. You can take video of me saying that. Flat is the worst. Yeah, clearly. I aren't gonna mark my surface and I'm still not gonna do that because I'm nervous. That's going on metal. That's gonna go on a fretboard. So let's give it some cushion for the pushing. No, this was something I knew I was gonna have to do. It's just a little nerve wracking because yeah. if I screw it up, then... And it's so close. Here we are. Here with the neck falling off anymore, which is kind of cool. They're not labeled. Well, I mean, the good news is my string just flew back out and didn't tell me where it was going. Oh. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> I was going to say the good news is the ferrule holes, the holes through the guitar and the bridge yeah. are lining up, which if I'm being totally honest, was kind of like the least of my concerns of some of this stuff, because you can kind of fix that. Funny, I've played guitar since I was, I don't know how old, and this is the first time I've ever actually had to guess which gauge the strings were. Because I always pull them from a package, right? And they're labeled, and they're in their own individual little package, so it's kind of funny how that many years, it's just like, oh yeah, that very, like you can feel the difference between them clear as day. Ooh, look at that, looks like some sort of fancy haircut. That looks like the top of my head, and that's my hair, that's my comb over. <laughs> That's where it's supposed to end up ish and it's on the fretboard, which was yeah. my entire concern this whole time. That was literally like my biggest concern. So that makes me feel marginally better. I mean, like it, it, it kind of makes sense, but until you actually do it right now, I'm going to turn it. Ah, oh, damn it. Which way am I going to turn to get it to go the way I want it to go? No, uh, yeah, everything else should go under. Ah, I know I whined for two hours. <laughs> oh, that's what I should have bought. I may regret doing that, but I'm going to do it anyway. The name of the music store? Yeah. Long and McQuaid. When you hear me pick it, you don't hear bzzz. It's just the sound of the string. Yeah. If there was a bzzz, it would be rubbing on these. Oh, this is fucking genius. Where's my baby screwdriver? Gracias, amigo. Give him more chords to these, no? Say again? Don't you need to give more chords to these strings? Like... Oh, no, I'm, I'm, they're not tight yet. So the amount I'm going to stretch them by putting this down, making stupid faces right now. Oh yeah. <laughs> Trying to get this thing lined up as nicely as I can without twisting it. Tuner's bent. Do you see the way it's winding? This is the one right here. Cause you're not supposed to, you don't have to glue it down, which is something that I may be changing my mind on. Cause see how it's sliding. Oh yeah. Which is not the end of the world, but so I'm just going to, you can do that. Oh! That wasn't supposed to happen. Do I care? Yeah, I kind of care. Do I care? Because there's no lighting. Oh yeah, and then the, the whatchamacallit's down there. Okay. Even the glue just being there is tacking it in place better. for what this is, I'm not really that concerned. So sweet. That one is not centered. <laughs> I'd really love to use like a power driver, but I just don't trust them. <laughs> oh yeah, you know, that, that's your last shot. It's peeling the tape off the pick card. Not like, like the actual film though, right? Cause there's still clear coat on there. Know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, is it gonna that look? That sits fine, yeah. Is that gonna look even awesomer? Oh, holy <laughs> Look how cool that looks. Looks so much better. These. Holy jumping. Yeah. 
go this way. I can actually do it. I don't have to make the brown sound anymore. Cool. That looks pretty nice. I don't even want to talk. Well, yeah, but it's not holding tune yet. <laughs> Just so the third is the worst, eh? I think I have guitars upstairs that make that sound. Picky about picks, Louis. The people on the internet are understanding. I, I'm not getting Picky. I'm picky. picky about my picks, and he missed the joke. Sorry for that. Fired. You're not mic'd up, so you can cram it. <laughs> Just the third. Can I raise the third? Not much. Ah, it sounds bad to my ears. What can I play that's just all open strings? It does what it's supposed to do. Now I just gotta learn how to make it sound the way it's supposed to sound though. Does it look badass? It looks really cool, but it sounds kind of funky. It's a little too twangy. So here we are folks at the end of our epic guitar journey. Maybe that should have been the name right from the get-go. I know there was some bumps and jumps and you know other lumps in the road however look what we made i mean i'm pretty stoked about this thing it looks fantastic it sounds great um and it's just a really cool thing to build yourself so uh again i'm aware the method that i kind of went through in all of this series was not the easiest way to build a guitar but again i did that on purpose because i wanted to make sure that if you did want to do a more complex shape or all of the things that we kind of gave you as many of the tools as we could to do that. So that's, again, just to reiterate, part of the reason why it wasn't the easiest method. And we knew that going in. I knew that going in, and I thought I made that clear. But here we are wrapping it up one more time. Having said that, uh, it also, this whole, this series has also taught us some things about how to create better content for you guys. So, um, you know, while you guys, I mean, I was learning while I was going and I was trying to teach and do all the things, we also learned some things internally that, you know, I think are gonna be changes for the better with our, you know, the videos that we're coming up with next. There's not much else to say other than if you haven't started your own guitar, then what better time than now? And if you have, then make sure you keep us looped on your epic guitar journey. Hopefully you found the whole series helpful, but if you didn't find the whole series helpful, then hopefully there are some snippets or some episodes that, you know, taught you some cool stuff. Uh, if you did, head on over to those social sites and make sure you give us a like and a, a thumbs up and a subscribe for all the latest and greatest long mill and CNC related awesomeness. Thanks for watching, everybody. We appreciate you taking the time to check us out and to see what we're all about. And uh, as always, we'll see you around the CNC.